and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 20th of August. So we're going to see what's happening after the full moon in Aquarius on the 19th. It is, yeah, a gnarly full moon, I have to say. So we'll see what energy is coming out. Thank you so much for all your beautiful birthday wishes. I truly appreciate it all. Do you know what? I did actually record a weekend reading and I just turned up to work this morning and went, oh, it's still sitting there in draft mode. I went into birthday mode and forgot to publish it. So I do apologize for that. But let's see what's happening after this full moon. The full moon in Aquarius is squaring Uranus. So expect some changes to come through or to be activated from this full moon. There is a whole heap of astrology happening here, which could bring a situation back into balance, but it requires some change and it might not be the easiest of change so let's see what is coming in for the 20th the fallout of the full moon in Aquarius let's see what is coming in now oh, I love it okay you know the star card the card of major arcana of Aquarius peace and healing which is very beautiful being guided towards the future the magician look at all these major arcanas coming in this is where you're manifesting perhaps something in your a new future yeah i'd said it wasn't necessarily going to be easy we have the three of swords coming in okay the seven of wands and we've got the ace of pentacles wow fantastic and the five of pentacles so lots coming in about relationships love and money and some readjustments coming in maybe even some pain points coming up around that but this is where the five of pentacles is where something has there's healing that can come in around whatever this five of pentacles represents to you which could be challenge on a material realm in some way it can be feelings of rejection icy cold energy it could feel like that it's can be issues around resources or finances uh, feeling like you don't have enough of something you're not getting what you want from a situation and it's got the healing next to it with the star card something has potentially been hurting you with this three of swords the wound has come up to be cleared and might have been a bit pointy there with the way it came up and out but it's saying you have an opportunity now to get yourself into a better position to ward off some of the challenges that you've had around you and to start a new cycle around in the material realm with this ace of pentacles so whatever is bothering you what has been missing the five of pentacles to move into balance which is the six of pentacles the card that represents balance being restored on the material realm we need this new thing the ace of pentacles so there is a new cycle a new thing is being activated here in the material realm in the in the pentacles which is to do with your work your money your health your daily routines uh, yeah so it, it could be any of those things I think it's a really important new beginning for re-establishing balance but like I said the journey to get there with the five of pentacles and the three of swords is yeah it may have been tough it may have been something that's really what you were struggling with or that may have been a real challenge and or may have really hurt you or wounded you in some way and this is where we can see yeah there is the higher potentials of this is that yeah we go straight to the star card of course that's going to be the higher potentials of the full moon in Aquarius it is the major arcana for Aquarius we're up there in the stars the water bearer is bringing those waters of the deep soul replenishment next to the magician saying you have everything within you to make a change here to change your future or to feel more hopeful for the future and the the answers are here with the ace of pentacles you might need to like I said the birth of this might not necessarily be the easiest birth of this new cycle like somebody might be gatekeeping it or protecting it or it might be it's about timing of it as well uh, maybe you need to protect it in some way or be kind of protective of your space but it feels possible it's just it's moving slowly it might move with delays or barriers or something like that around it but it's still there so it's this interesting combination of hope meets realism so it's a hopeful new beginning but it's it kind of has to start in the way that it needs to start 
in and it's like I said, certain things are kind of being rebalanced or that rebalance is needed and we're seeing the opportunity for the beginning of that, the opportunity for with that Ace of Pentacles to be able to start something new that can rebalance the situation. It might just be that little extra thing that you need, but definitely feels like it's on the material realm and, yeah, relationships, throw that into the mix as well, something rebalancing when it comes to relationships and money, even throw it all together, but definitely feels like uh, these wounds are coming up to be cleared in order to be able to move into a better situation for you. It's just, yeah, like I said, it's a bit gnarly getting there. So that is the reading. Uh, it, just expect that other people are going to be triggered by this energy as well. So some people might be going, no, I, I don't want to change. I don't want to move so quickly and you need them to move a little bit faster or you might be that person. Whatever it is, things are kind of, it can feel like things are getting tied up. There's a shifting of a timeline here that we're seeing here, but there's also a sense of resistances and delays around that or people getting triggered or confused or uh, resisting the energy. So there is, it always brings with the star card a new hope for the future that you can manifest, but it's complicated <laughs> is probably the best way to describe this. So hold on to the those positives because it's mixed energy, like I said, and that's the higher potential of this, this uh, the moon that we're seeing coming out immediately straight afterwards. So yeah, that's the reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Please follow me on Instagram. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and take care.